Will Jeremiah Smith start for Ohio State game one? We're going to talk about this on the Voice of College Football, Ohio State. I am your host, JR. Let's talk about it. So, Jeremiah Smith, the recruiting madness sounds like it was all completely worth it because the hype around this true freshman for Ohio State is crazy right now. What the players are saying at practice, what people are saying all over the place, I mean, it is just wild. It really started when he broke the record for the black stripe being removed for a true freshman coming into Ohio State, a previous record set by true freshman last year, Carnell Tate. So for Jeremiah Smith to come in and break that record is huge. Now, if you don't know about the black stripe, essentially this is something that Urban Meyer started in 2012. It was used to be as a uh, kind of recognition of hard work and and being able to do the things that needed to be done on the practice field. There's no real great definition that's given to the fans other than you know that this is just somebody who has worked extremely hard and been given the right to wear the Ohio State Stripes on their helmet. So this is a big deal whenever, whether it be a transfer, whether it be a true freshman, whoever they are, gets to come into Ohio State and remove their black stripe. But not only is he a hard worker, he is also just outright a physical freak. Now, Jeremiah Smith, according to 24-7, sits at 6'3", 214 pounds. Obviously, since he's been at Ohio State, he's gone through winter workouts. He's most likely bigger than this now, uh, at least weight-wise, whatever it might be. We don't have those exact uh, weights. But anyway, coming out of high school, 24-7 gave him 6'3", 214. You might say, well, JR, that's kind of normal. That's what somebody is like at, at high school, right? Uh, well, the average size of a top 10 wideout in the 24-7 class, a wide receiver was 6'1 half, 189 pounds. This guy is, a hundred, is, is, is way bigger than the average, uh, the average recruit was coming out of high school, a receiver recruit. So, I mean, 25 pounds heavier, an uh, inch and a half taller. I mean, just absolutely wild that Jeremiah Smith is this big. And that's the thing. If you look at pictures online, he, he is all muscle. I mean, this guy is crazy. Uh, Emeka Buka, Devin Brown, Will Howard, all of them are talking about how much of a physical freak Jeremiah Smith is. Is in fact coming out of uh, coming out of practice. Somebody who who obviously knows a little bit about what's going on in practice. Zach Smith over at Minnesota Sports went on to say that <clears throat> went on to say that Jeremiah Smith is better than Marvin Harrison Jr. Now, obviously, you'll have to go watch his episode for the context of that. But even the statement alone, whatever the statement means, Jeremiah Smith is better than Marvin Harrison Jr is wild to think about. And so this the hype coming for this Jeremiah Smith is big, it's loud, and we have to start asking the question, will Jeremiah Smith start? Will he get the start? Game one for Ohio State. Well, one thing we have to look at is Ryan Day and Chip Kelly. Well, historically, what have they done with their freshmen on offense? Well, Ryan Day has never started a true freshman on offense before game one, the very first game. He's obviously started Trayvon Henderson his freshman year, but the very first game, he has never started a true freshman game one. If you're thinking back to that Minnesota game, Mayan Williams actually got the start during that game, and he actually had a pretty big touchdown run at the beginning of that game as well. But some notable true freshmen who who were there uh, under Ryan Day from when he began in 2019 as a head coach to now, 2024, Garrett Wilson is one of them. 30 receptions, 432 yards, 14.4 average yards per catch. That's crazy. Some other freshmen that maybe aren't as notable, but they were there. Uh, Jamison Williams, he had six catches his freshman year. Mayan Williams, he when he was a freshman, he had an okay workload. 10 attempts, 10 carries, 64 yards. Jackson Smith and Jigba, we, a lot of us remember his catch. When he was a freshman, that toe tap at the back of the end zone, Julian Fleming, actually, uh, he had seven receptions for 74 
four yards, kind of crazy there. Kyle McCord, his freshman year, he he got in some good garbage time games, had 416 yards, two touchdowns. Trayvon Henderson, obviously, the uh, freshman among all to have the best kind of freshman year, over a 1,000 yards rushing, a 6.8 average yards per carry. And that's not even counting his receiving stats. He was a wonderful receiver his freshman year as well. But you look at Marv, only 11 catches, 139 yards. His freshman year, uh, Emeka Abuka, Dallin Hayden, he had a pretty good freshman year, 111 attempts for 553 yards. That was obviously the year that Travion Henderson got hurt. They kind of had running back by committee, but Dallin Hayden excelled. And then last year, Carnell Tate caught 18 balls for 264 yards, 14.4 average yards per catch. Brandon Ennis caught one ball his freshman year, and Jelani Thurman caught two balls his freshman year this last year. And so what we see is that Ohio State does not have a history, not, not Ohio State. Ryan Day does not have a history of starting true freshmen. You might be thinking, well, JR, Chip Kelly does. He started Dante Moore last year. Well, if you remember back their first game against Coastal Carolina, Chip Kelly didn't start Dante Moore at the beginning of that game. Chip Kelly started Ethan Garbers, and Ethan Garbers threw two picks in the first three tries of that game, and Chip Kelly quickly pulled him and put Dante Moore in instead. So, some might argue, well, if he has enough faith in his true freshman quarterback to put him in on the fourth series of the very first game that year, perhaps he has enough faith in Jeremiah Smith to start him at wide receiver, obviously not a position that would cause as much uh, unsureness. Uh, it's not as impactful as the quarterback position, especially since you have multiple of them out there. It could happen. Don't get me wrong. It could happen. But at the end of the day, neither Chip Kelly nor Ryan Day have a history of starting a true freshman in game one. So what will the Ohio State wide receiver rotation look like? This is my prediction for game one, we will see Carnell Tate and Emeka Buka on the outside, and you will see Brandon Ennis in the slot. Game one, I don't think it's going to stay this way all year long. I think you will see a situation where possibly you have Jeremiah Smith on the outside, maybe Emeka Buka in the slot. It sounds like from what people are saying from spring practice, they're moving him all around, which makes total sense. But Brandon Ennis apparently is doing very, very well also, and he is somebody that... Brian Hartline would be able to use in some multiple different ways, kind of like a Xavier Johnson, kind of like a Jackson Smith and Jigba, possibly. And so that's a really special connection there, too. But I do see a four man rotation happening with the wide receivers this year. You're most likely going to see a Mecca Buka moving around. You're going to see a J Jeremiah Smith on the outside. Will he start game one? No, I don't think so. Will he eventually start? Probably. I could see it happening. I could see Jeremiah Smith starting on the outside, Emeka Abuka in the slot. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, this is going to be kind of a rotation by committee. Could eventually he start in front of Carnell Tate? Could eventually Emeka Abuka be out there and Brandon Innes be in the slot instead? I have no idea. I have no idea how they're going to utilize Jeremiah Smith throughout the year, but I do believe very first game, he probably will not start. I know that sounds like a hater move and I'm not trying to hate, but if you look at the history of Ryan Day and Chip Kelly, have they started their true freshman game one? They have not. Even superstars like Travion Henderson, even quarterbacks who obviously were better in Dante Moore, they did not start them game one. So I don't have faith that Jeremiah Smith will start game one. Do I have faith that he will catch a lot of balls? Oh, yes. Do I have faith that he will play a lot of snaps? Oh, yeah. But game one, we'll see what happens. I just don't think Jeremiah Smith is going to be starting game one. Let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments. Do you think the hype is real? Do you think Jeremiah Smith is a game one starter? Do you think Jeremiah Smith leads the team in receiving this year? Do you think that he's at a thousand yard receiver? Let me know. Or are you not believing in this hype and you're saying Jeremiah Smith, he's going to have a great future, a great career, but this is not his year. He's still a true freshman. He needs time to develop. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Thanks everybody for watching.